last night was super windy and the only campsite we could find that had a little bit of protection from the wind was behind this tree that has kind of these higher rocks. And there's so much cow shit and we had to kind of kick it out of the way and clear a little spot for our tents. <laughs> but the wind was blowing so hard that we just got tons and tons of dirt and probably cow shit in our mouth and eyes and bivvies and sleeping bags and uh luckily it's beautiful today's supposed to be a pretty neat day going up climbing up this chimney and then hiking out across the red benches you ready jose and the dirty devil i just squeezed up this little chimney and jose is coming up behind me you can see him there i need to go down and grab his pack because there's a spot that's too tight and i had to take mine off and it was kind of shitty all right we've got the packs up now we can watch jose <laughs> jose is a bit bigger than me so <laughs> <laughs> it's clean from there. Uh huh. It's also hideous. It looks ugly. <laughs> We've been in this area called the Red Benches all day. Uh, it's really pretty. There's just all these beautiful red canyons and drainages and it's like a big maze out here. It'd be really easy to get turned around and lost if you didn't know which way you were trying to go. Uh, yeah, it's been pretty easy walking. The soil is really nice to walk on and yeah pretty chill day. Jose and I split up for a little while to get a little bit of lunch time in. Uh, we're supposed to meet up for lunch here pretty soon at, uh, I think it's called Fiddle Cove. Should be there in about a mile or so. All right, now we're starting our descent into Fiddler's Cove Canyon. Really beautiful down there. Very dry though. All right, we made it down. Kind of came from up there somewhere. We decided to take the hard water alternate around uh, the Dirty Devil Canyon for a couple of reasons. Uh, one, it's been raining and snowing a lot, and the crossings are already supposed to be uh, pretty bad of the Dirty Devil River. And if the water's really high, it could be pretty dangerous or impassable. 
Uh, another is just because that section is supposed to suck. Uh, there's quicksand and a lot of undergrowth to try to fight your way through and a lot of really high river crossings and the river is super contaminated and you can't drink the water. So we decided to take this alternate uh, through this beautiful canyon that runs parallel to the Dirty Devil. Um, it's a little bit longer as mileage goes, but I think it'll probably be faster. And that's good because we don't have a ton of water left and there's still no more water for another 15 miles. Dirty Devil, the river we took the alternate around. Uh, from here it looks pretty high, it's hard to tell, probably a good decision that we took the alternate, plus it's really cold. It's really cold out this morning and we're about to cross the Dirty Devil River and true to its name, the Dirty Devil is very dirty. And, which means you can't see the bottom of it and you can't really tell how deep it is. Uh, so not looking forward to this creek crossing. Don't eat cows, folks. You don't have to eat them. Really cute. There's lots of alternatives to killing these guys. All right, so we just did like a 16 mile dirt road walk after uh, crossing the Dirty Devil. Uh, I didn't film much because we were just trying to get to this road. We just picked up our cache and we're trying to hitch into Hanksville now. It's a very difficult hitch from what we've heard. Uh, this road, it looks nice and well paved and shit, but not many people drive down it. We'll see how it goes.